guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. We have been hard at work in our house, painting, rearranging, unpacking. Um, so before I go on to the next project, I just wanted to show you one of the areas of our house that have been done for a few months. It's actually an area that I had done almost as soon as we moved in, and that is our family medicine cabinet. I decided to put our medicine cabinet in the kitchen again, just like in our condo, only because our bathroom downstairs doesn't have any storage. And I chose a cabinet that was the furthest away from the fridge and the oven, just so I could save those other cabinets for cooking types of things. And it was up high, so my daughter wouldn't be able to reach the stuff that's inside. So we've been living with this system for a while, this system is actually very, very similar to the one I had shown in my very, very first video about Dollar Tree organizing, but I was able to translate that system into this area and then add some more items that we needed as a bigger family. The way I placed things were based on the amount of use. So the first shelf has stuff that I access the most often. So here on the bottom shelf, I have these bins. These actually came from a Blockbuster that was closing down, but you can use Dollar Tree bins for this kind of thing. Dollar Tree even has these newer types of bins like these that have stoppers at the bottom that you could use for this type of purpose. But basically I categorize them by allergies, so this has antihistamines and nasal sprays and pain medications, so Tylenol, Motrin, Advil, etc. And then vitamins that we might take every now and then, so multivitamins, B12, vitamin D, that kind of thing. And then just a container for miscellaneous kinds of things, so sleep medication, if somebody comes over and they want to use the aspirin, aspirin is also nice to have in case of emergencies for heart patients and what I did was I used one of these shelves from the Dollar Tree and unfortunately I have not seen this shelf in a really long time. This was located in the kitchen section along with the hooks that you can mount to the wall. So next to that are some of our essential oil products. So um, I have this bin that's from the Dollar Tree and it's nice because it's just tall enough to fit some of my essential oil bottles for tea tree oil or orange or eucalyptus oil. So it's really nice. And above that is where I keep our diffuser. If you want me to talk about that more in another video, I will. And here is a plug-in diffuser as well that I could use with the oils. And then this is probably the newest addition to our family medicine cabinet because these containers didn't come out till early 2015, late 2014. And the reason these are here is because not only do we use the essential oils for health purposes, but they're also used for fragrance purposes as well. So along that note is why I kept fragrance plugins here. So stuff like the Bath and Body Works wallflowers I keep in here. Then I put the wax melts in this container. And then along with that are some stuff that I use pretty often, which are some hand sanitizer. These are the little ones that I could put in my purse. And then some sanitizing wipes I also put in my purse. And then next to that behind this plank is one of the containers. This is an old container from the Dollar Tree, but they always seem to have ones like these. And this is where I keep my incense. So there's some incense sticks there and then there's an incense burner right here and then on the door is where i keep some information about essential oils and basically i just went to image.google.com it was where i started off and then you look at who the resource is and to see if it's trustworthy but basically it's a little cheat sheet of how you can use some essential oils um, and some of the more common kinds of ones and this might change every now and then, so I keep this in a sheet protector, and then I can just take this down if I wanted to. It has a bit of Velcro there. While we're at the door here, I have some information about food poisoning up above that I had gotten from a health fair. And then on the other door, I have information about our emergency contact numbers, so my daughter's doctors, her surgeons, her specialists. I also have poison control on here, relatives, and then I have our dog's vet number and then poison control for um, pets. 
And then above that, I have some information about CPR for pets and for children. Now, sometimes these guidelines change, which is why it's nice to have things like this in a um, sheet protector sleeve. And sheet protector sleeves you can get at Dollar Tree as well. In addition to putting them on Velcro, that way, you know, as they change up, you could easily take this out and just pin it back up uh, very, very easily. They also have Velcro in the craft section of the Dollar Tree. And like I had said in previous videos, I like to keep things for the most part in crates just because if you need to see a bunch of stuff all at once, especially if it's on a higher shelf like this, I feel like I would miss stuff if it's all the way back there. You could just pull them down, see everything at once of what you need in the same category, and then when you're done, just stick it right back up there. You don't have to be shifting bottles all around. You're less likely to let stuff go bad. You know, you're less likely to have two or three of the same things open at the same time. You know, that kind of thing just drives me nuts. It's also nice to have these in a crate because if you spend most of your time sick on the couch or in bed, you could just take the entire crate with you and that way you're not carrying lozenges and cough medication and nighttime medication, all these different bottles, all that stuff back and forth. So um, here I have some of our extra vitamins, you know, some of the ones we use less often compared to the ones here. And then I have our sun protectant. This has gone unused for a while, but hopefully we should be using it soon as the weather warms up. And then on the next shelf, I have the cold and cough medication. We might access that maybe once or twice a year. So I have to keep an eye on that just to make sure medications don't go too expired. I also have cough drops up there, throat lozenges, that kind of thing. And then next to it, I have stuff to help prevent getting sick. So stuff like the airborne drinks, and those crates are, of course, from the Dollar Tree. You know you know by now that there are so many different sizes of crates at the Dollar Tree that you could get now. Um, but I've had these forever. And then on this side, I have our first aid kit. And again, I like having it in one big thing like this. That way, you know, if someone gets hurt or if somebody falls, I can just grab the kit and take it right to them versus them coming over here or me having to grab a bunch of stuff and forgetting stuff. This bin for the first aid kit is from Walmart actually, but you can kind of makeshift stuff from a Dollar Tree basket as well. They have smaller baskets for this kind of thing, but I've never seen a really, really huge basket with one handle in the center like this. So I'm hoping Dollar Tree is watching, so maybe they will make one. But anyway, you know, you can get things like peroxide at the Dollar Tree, bandages at the Dollar Tree, scissors, thermometers, antibacterial ointments, alcohol pads, all sorts of kinds of things, and make a first aid kit for super, super cheap. And then above that, I have on the right here some GI kinds of things. So stuff like antacids, stuff for constipation, and then in the middle here, I have one of those white Dollar Tree bins for miscellaneous kinds of things. So stuff like Dramamine, extra kinds of medications that are kind of in their own category. And then in the middle here is where I keep some of our extra medicines that we don't need right away, that have a long expiration date, or that we have surplus of. Then at the very top shelf up here, I bought one of those Surefresh bins that are for food. And in those I put our braces and splints and those are things like if somebody sprains their ankle or I have a history of carpal tunnel so sometimes I'll use those splints if I overdo it and on the right over there is some information about nutrition, diet, that kind of thing. And then on the left here are items that are medically related that we just don't need anymore um, but I'm just not ready to throw away just because we might eventually need them for my daughter. So that is our family medicine cabinet. Um, you may know that my daughter does have pretty significant medical issues, so her stuff for tube feeding and her IV is located elsewhere in the house, you know, in places where we access it more frequently. 
So this is the system that works for our family. I would love to hear what you do for your family medicine cabinet. If you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share, I would love to hear it. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.